Good morning, everyone. Um, today is Tuesday, and I am kind of I'm structuring my days a little different recently, um, <clears throat> which isn't a bad thing. I'm honestly feeling a lot more productive doing it this way, even though it's like all out of order. But first of all, I just want to share. I've shared these before when I like lived at my old apartment, but they're the Siggy's plant-based yogurts and I, I feel like they only have like two flavors. Maybe they have more and I just haven't ever seen them anywhere, but <coughs> if you ever see these out, they're stupid expensive. I will say that, but if you catch them on sale, they are delicious. They are like the best yogurts I've ever tasted for like plant-based. Um, it's like the most creamy. It's not like super grainy. I feel like most plant-based yogurts. <coughs> what is going on? I feel like most plant-based yogurts are like very grainy. I'm going to make a little parfait for breakfast. But the way that I've been structuring my mornings these past two days, I've just been getting up and I usually will like not, I'll, I'll set my alarm for 6 a.m. I typically just never end up waking up at 6, but I usually will wake up around 7, closer to, but lately I've been just naturally getting up around like 6.30, 6.40. I'll get up and make coffee right away. I'll do all of my like typical admin work at that point then while I sip on my coffee. And then by the time my parents get up and like I'm hungry, I shower if I don't work out then I just shower right away um, and then I'll come down and eat breakfast and that's where we're at right now so most of my admin work for the day is honestly done which is nice because it's already like it's only like nine o'clock I'm usually like my most productive in the morning so it just works out best like that all right, my little parfait is done. We have the yogurt on the bottom, strawberries, blueberries, peanut butter, and some walnuts. It's 10 o'clock still, and there have, like, I've literally gotten done so much already for the day. I'm on to planning out, um, <clears throat> I'm planning a push, and if you don't know what a push is, I learned about it from my favorite podcaster. It's very simple. It's just like for two weeks, you go all out in something um, to like achieve a goal. So for the next two weeks, not this week I'm starting, but the following two weeks, um, starting basically the beginning of June, I'm doing a two-week push for growth. Um, and really going all out and posting and all that stuff and like really planning things out to a T as much as I possibly can. So I've been planning this for two weeks now, I think. And I am, since it's next week, we are just a few days away from the start. I'm kind of like finalizing some things um, and just trying to get as best prepared for it as I possibly can. So that's what I'm doing. But I went outside to shoot um, just like a still shot, not of me, but of something else in my car, and my car was in the garage. I pulled it out just like a little bit so that it was in the natural light, and I put it in park. It was running, and then I tried to pull back in, and my steering wheel wouldn't turn, so I was like, okay, and I know that sometimes you can actually like... Uh, lock up your steering wheel by accident so I thought I had done that in taking this picture and here what happened I called my dad over then and he looked at it and here what happened is my like belt I guess that I don't know what he was saying it's it keeps intact like the alternator the starter the steering wheel so yeah anyway as I was saying my SD card got full but um, it keeps everything like intact, I guess, and that broke. The belt broke. So my dad said it's literally like a $30 belt. He's, that's his business. He is, um, he builds starters and alternators and he also has a shop attached for 
uh, mechanics, so he's well versed in all of that and that's what his expertise is in. So he said it's literally a $30 belt and yeah, I'm just so thankful that I was not planning to go anywhere anyway today um, and that that did not happen while I was driving. Like, wow, that's actually very scary. But anyway, I'm going to get back to work now. Yeah, I'm feeling tired, honestly. I was trying to watch a YouTube video while I go through and hang up the 17 new pieces of clothing that I got in the mail all on the same day yesterday. So there's a lot and I need to hang them up on my overflowing rack. This room is just a mess. Like I've mentioned before, this room can go from clean to a bomb looking like a bomb went off in a minute um it just just happens like that right now i'm just gonna go through and hang it up and sort it out if you've been watching my previous few vlogs i have talked met multiple times about this massive pile of clothing that i am looking to sell and i'm looking to start selling as of next week so that it's you know just in time for summer before i go on vacation too so um i'm going to go through now and find the items online or pictures that i have previously taken so that i know what pictures i need in the items so this is everything i've went through and all of this stuff on the floor so i feel like i've cut through maybe half a little less than half of the pile um, and then this is the pile of things that I just need pictures for so far. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to diminish the amount of photos that I physically have to take of the items. So rather, most of these items are honestly quite new. So they are still available online or I have like a previous picture I've taken with them on. So I'm going through and finding the pieces online or the pictures that I have with them. And I have activewear over here. These, again, are this, the pile of pictures I need to get. Pants, uh, like tops, sets, outerwear, like hoodies, and then dresses. So, we are going to, we are going to a break for lunch. It's like 12.30 and... Yeah, I feel like this day is just like dragging on. I feel like I have done a little bit, like a, a lot of stuff, but like barely anything. And it's only 1230. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know what I actually want to eat though. This is just an appetizer. You need that coffee, you need that coffee. <laughs> it's 12 o'clock. You're gonna get addicted to those things. I am, already. You bet you can. You're done. Well, what if Kathy doesn't want caffeine now? She's seen the lead there. She'll drink that at night. I haven't had healthy aid kombucha in forever. I used to drink these all of the time when I was in college. <clears throat> <clears throat> but best kombucha ever. It's so good. And I got the bubbly rose flavor. I also got a watermelon one. I've never tried that one before and they came out with that one either last year or two years ago and I never got to try it <clears throat> maybe it's been a few years I don't know I've been drinking these forever <laughs> okay we 
we are having chicken and broccoli and health aid probably like half of this all right guys that massive pile turned into little littler piles um i categorized everything so these are all tops then we have sets bathing suits hoodies jackets dresses pants i need to add these to those as well then we have a list or a pile of things which is a very short pile so it's a lot easier to manage to just take pictures of this shorter pile and then i need to take pics of all of this and then we have activewear so that's so much easier to manage because looking at that big pile that was here I just I didn't want to touch it I did not want to touch it because I thought I was gonna have to take pictures and everything and luckily everything that's not in this pile I either had a picture of or could find a picture online still so a okay I honestly forget what day I plan to upload this video but I will say that on Monday June 1st it's actually no, Memorial Day. It's Memorial Day. So on the 31st of May, so on Monday of next week is when I plan to have everything listed. And that will be listed over on my VF Marketplace Instagram account. So I think I'm going to structure it a little, a little bit different this time around. I feel like it's just going to be so much easier to keep track of everything. So i am going to have these listed over there on my stories on monday and i i don't know because that's going to be a lot of stories for the day if i do like that's a lot of stories actually because i have a hundred pieces to go up as of now there might be more added to the pile later so i have a hundred pieces to go live that might be a lot so maybe i'll do like three rounds i guess I'm leaving for vacation Friday, that Friday the 5th, I think it is, so that's going to be, a, or the 4th, so that's going to be a lot of work to fit in. We'll see. We'll see what I'm going to do. I didn't really think of that, think that one through, but that's going to be a lot of posts, so we'll see. But if you are interested in shopping, I'll have all the information down below. It's just the Instagram page. You could follow it. You don't have to follow it, um, but the launch is going to start Monday, I do believe, so... Stay tuned. Literally all the items for the most part, like 95% of the items that I am going to be listing have been worn once, like actually been worn or have literally been worn just for a photo shoot in which I consider they have been worn absolutely like not, not at all. They haven't been worn out. They haven't been washed. So some of them even still have tags on literally great deals. So yeah. Um, Lots to go around and I hope you guys check it out. So to be honest, I'm just, I haven't had the best day. I've just, I don't know if I said that at all, but I'm just feeling a little bit off. So I figured it's like three o'clock now. I'm gonna make dinner tonight and um, I don't know who's here. I'm gonna make dinner tonight, but I am going to go on a run before I start making dinner so that I get that in and the sun is starting to come out. So. I guess that's better than it being gloomy out so let's go on a run oh my god I'm shaking all right before I make dinner I need a shower I'm all cooled off now even though my face is still bright red but I'll be right back and we're back <clears throat> feeling so much better so fresh so good oh I forgot to moisturize whatever all right let's go cook some dinner for dinner i made this multiple times before you guys have seen this it's the cilantro lime chicken we're gonna have tacos and then this is my famous homemade guac today literally feels like it's been the longest day ever but i just got done cleaning up the kitchen after making dinner dinner was delicious um i did already make one mixed drink i was just like feeling like with the tacos taco tuesday 
a little mixed drink on this summery day. So I will show you guys how I make my Moscow Mule. I must say that I have become a Moscow Mule connoisseur. Tito's, if you'd like to sponsor me, you are more than welcome to. But I have become a Moscow Mule connoisseur, and that's kind of like my vibe for this summer. I don't know when this started. When, when did it start? I forget when it started. Like a few months ago, it started when it started to get a little bit nicer out, and ever since, I've just like... I've been determined to find the best Moscow mules out there at restaurants and to perfect my own recipe. It started when Dom and I went to um, his co-worker's beach house, actually. So I made Moscow mules for everyone there. Had never really made them before, but um, they turned out bomb. So I have some lemon juice or lime juice in here already. It's just a second glass, so there's like some leftover in there still and the ice is melting our favorite Tito's vodka. We are gonna do about two shots of that. More like one shot, I think that was, but I have a small glass. And then, this is the best ginger beer that I've found that you could buy at the store. I buy this at Wegmans, and I'm saying like after doing little research. But after I really realized that there's high fructose corn syrup in this i am a little bit sad and reluctant to reluctant is that the, the right word i do not plan to necessarily buy this brand again i'd like to find something very similar that is a lot more um healthy because i don't want to be drinking i i can drink like so many of these and i don't want to be drinking high fructose corn syrup i'm sorry i'm not into it Everything else is fine. Just that, though, I'm not interested. So, we just pour away. If you don't really care, like if you're into drinking soda, I don't drink soda, and soda has high fructose corn syrup in it, so if you are into drinking that, then this isn't going to be that big of a deal. I just would prefer to find something a little bit healthier. But, I will say, it is delicious. And, that is your Moscow Mule. We don't have the Mule mugs. So refreshing. It's insane. And the, I find that with these, the less ice, the better. So like medium on the ice, not overdone. So cheers to a Taco Tuesday. Now I'm going to go outside and bug my dad and it's actually nice out now, which I am a little sour about just because I clearly am not in the right state to shoot content and like right now would be basically my only opportunity to do so and I'm just not with it. So we're relaxing tonight. We were just outside for like probably over an hour sitting out there. It's um, pretty nice out now and the neighbors came over I had a smoothie and we were just sitting outside talking but now it's almost eight o'clock and I am going to be posting an IG so I came inside to do that really quick but wow I do feel like this day has just been so freaking long it's unreal so yeah um, I'm gonna post an IG and then probably just like do some leisure things to like unwind for the night. But I guess that's like it. I probably got a decent amount of footage. So thank you guys so much for watching today's little random vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Um, make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. And I will talk to you in the next video.